Lance. Little Miss Bliss. Introducing first, accompanied by Mickey James from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Five feet of fury. The first woman to ever capture the SmackDown and Raw Women's Championships, Alexa Bliss, the goddess of WWE. Well, you should have heard what Byron no, was saying quiet, about you earlier quiet, today. Michael. I'm getting out of here. Good. Thank God. Now the show can get crazy like a fox. Yeah, she's she's not quite like all your other superstars in WWE. She has some issues. Unpredictable. Product of the Hart family dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Knight Hart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. The baddest woman on the planet. It absolutely amazes me how quickly Ronda Rousey and seamlessly made her transition from the world of mixed martial arts to WWE. She improves each and every time she steps in the ring. A real natural. And her partner from Venice Beach, California, the Raw Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is... And it looks like it'll be these two superstars kicking it off here tonight. Jeez. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. <laughs> Slam down hard. My. You gotta believe this one's over. Alexa Bliss may be one of the WWE's smallest competitors, but she's also something of a strong woman. Having competed in the Arnold Classic bodybuilding competition, she really is a well-rounded athlete. Beautiful technique. Nailed it. 
Michael, earlier you brought up Bliss's bodybuilding background. Well, that means Little Miss Bliss can back a pretty big punch if you underestimate Alexa's size. Yeah, most competitors Alexa's size would stick to high-flying moves, but we've seen Bliss finish off many title pretenders with a devastating DD. She goes for the cover, and there's a kick out at one. Too soon. What a stomp. Good grief. Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Tag is made. What's going to happen here? Ooh, right in the face. Destroyed. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch and the referee must see the tag be made. The cover. Ronda Rousey is, of course, one of the most famous athletes in the world. More so, she's one of the most famous stars in the world. And she got that way by beating people up and taking their arm. Suplex. Very nice. Alicia Fox, not where she wants to be right now. Adding to what Michael said about Ronda being a huge star, when she entered the WWE, that bright light and media attention that follows her really brought a spotlight to the women's evolution and its superstars. Yeah, you'll get a lot of publicity, a lot of notoriety from stepping into Ronda's spotlight. But touching fists, that's different. It's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. Rousey, case in point. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Ooh, what impact. I'm going to go on the record right now and say Natalia is the physically strongest woman in sports entertainment. There's no way anyone can match power with the Queen of Hearts, though I think Natalia's strongest when her heart is black. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Yeah, she's getting after it, showing great energy. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Natalia has incredible strength and the ability to channel that strength in different ways. It would not be wise for an opponent to try and get the best of Natalia. She might have it. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Nail it. She's in the driver's seat now. You're not going to get her that easy. Alexa's not the biggest, but she's definitely one of the toughest. Oh, what impact! 
What does Alexa Bliss need to do now? At this point, she really needs to think about making a tag to her partner. Oh. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no... Oh. <laughs> what a maneuver. You gotta believe this one's over. Truly devastating, Cole. Things just went from bad to worse for Alexa Bliss. This might be it. Oh, my. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Harsh impact. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Ooh. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Insult to injury. Oh, oh it's over. Oh, man, Ronda Rousey doesn't even know where she is. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Oof. What a stop. Good grief. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Beautiful technique. That's it. That's what she needed. A lot. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Seems like Alicia Fox is starting to lose steam. She's starting to feel the pressure here, fellas. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. She's looking at it. Not so fast. This might be it. Oh, my. Victory is on the horizon. Always nice when a plan starts coming together. And now, one more time. Ooh, what impact. This might be Fox's night. Oh, man, Alicia Fox does it. Shoulders down. Two. She might just be running on instincts at this point. Dangerous. You gotta believe this one's over. Looking for the win. Oof. This might be Fox's night. Things are looking dire. Boom. <laughs> this might be Fox's night. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. She's taking care of business. Look at her go. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously Here wrong with you. your winners, Natalia and Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Dominating tap out victory here. These two girls make me think that we should have a women's tag team championship. Who do I have to talk to to get that done? I'd be curious to see how this win impacts the rest of the tag team division.